Now, if you were to ask me what is the most commonest fault in the golf swing that we see all the time, now I see this when playing in, in social games, pro-ams, and at the golf range, and with most golfers, probably nine out of 10 golfers, unfortunately, they're doing their best, but they tend to try and scoop the club head under the ball in an effort to get that ball airborne. When that tends to happen, the club head is passing the hands prematurely, and the club head's on the upswing. Let me just demonstrate. This could be for chipping. If we do it in chipping, we're doing it in pitching. If we're doing it in pitching, we're doing it in full swing with that driver. So from here, in a little short shot, and in earlier sessions, we've covered the flat left wrist. From here, the player will tend to go back and try and flick, scoop. As soon as that club head passes the hands, it's a power loss and we're in trouble, sorry. So from here, in the golfing machine, the whole golfing machine is built around the flat left wrist. Now, we have three imperatives in the golf stroke. This is the number one imperative, keeping that left wrist flat. If that left wrist remains nice and flat, and let me define flat. Flat is when the back of the forearm and the hand is in one straight line. This is what we term bent. This is flat, and this is arched. It's very important to understand how the hands work in the swing. We're educating these hands. They hold the club, they have to know what they're doing. So from here, I go through my routine, never miss, shorter shot, three waggles, and in a little shot, in a little shot, what a feeling that was. What a sound, it's music to the ear. I compressed that ball, and that is the key to golf.